Hey everybody, my name is Sam, and today I'm going to take you through a tutorial on how to create a tag panel and how to share a tag panel. Tagging is an integral part of your Spideo Perform analysis, so it's a great thing to learn early on. First step is to come to app.spideo.net. This is the Spideo Perform web app, and it will look something similar to what you see on screen. Navigate to the left-hand column and down to Tag Panels. This is where all your tag panels will be stored, whether you created them or they've been shared to you. You can see some already created tag panels here, but we're going to navigate up to Create Tag Panel at the top. This is the Create a Tag Panel page, and there's a few bits of information here that you must enter. Firstly, choose a title for your tag panel. As an example, I'll choose First Team Tag. You can then choose who you wish to share this tag panel to. This can be edited at a later point, but you can do so now if you wish. Click here. You will see all groups you are a member of. You can choose a group by simply clicking on it, and then you can now see you'll be sharing to the First Team group. Thirdly, you must choose the layout of your tag panel. This cannot be edited in the future, so you need to choose the correct layout now. Click on Layout to see a number of pre-configured options that we have already made for you. Each blue square or rectangle that you see will be an individual tag that you can edit. And for this demonstration, I'll choose the first option here. And once I'm happy with these settings, I'll click Create. You'll be taken to this page here, which is your Editing Tags page. You can see the information that we just entered on the left-hand side here. And now we're going to edit our first tag. Click on the tag you wish to edit, and you'll be taken to this Edit Tag page. Here, you can first enter the name of the tag. For this example, I might choose Goal Scored. You can then choose the color for the tag. This helps you to easily identify which tag it is along the timeline. So for this, I might choose this lighter green here. You can then select the timing parameters of this tag. This will indicate how much footage is captured from before you've pressed the button and after you've pressed the button. This amount is indicated in seconds. You can click up to increase, you can click down to decrease, or you can type an amount in here. For this tag, I'll set that 10 seconds of pre-roll should be captured and five seconds of post-roll should be captured. Next, you can choose whether you wish this to be a duration tag. Duration tags allow you to start and stop the tag at a very specific time. And an example of when to use this could be when you want to tag an entire drill that's being done in training. Next, you can move on to the level you wish this tag to be used on. This refers to two level tagging, which you might've read about in our articles in our help center. And a good piece of information to know is that you cannot have a duration tag and then select the level of this tag. So we're going to toggle this off now. You can either choose whether you wish this tag to be used on all levels, only the first level, or only the second level. Finally, you can select a keyboard shortcut for this tag. This way, you don't have to click on the tag within the tag panel. You can simply click a key on your keyboard. Once we're happy with these options here, we can click Save. You can now see on my tag panel, this is adjusted to the settings I made. But if I wish to edit this at any point, I simply have to click on the tag to return to this menu. Once you're happy with all the tags that you've created here, you can come back to panels at the top left. You can see my tag panel is listed here. And furthermore, we can see that it is being shared to the first team as indicated here. If we wanna edit the sharing of our tag panel at any point, you can come to the three dots menu on each tag panel here, click edit, and then you can adjust your sharing options here. So if I no longer wish to share to the first team, I can simply click no sharing and then click save. And you can see here now we are not sharing to any groups. So that's the end of the tutorial. If you have further questions or you would like to speak to a support agent, you can find our help center in the bottom right hand corner here, and you should contact support via this widget here. Thank you so much for watching.